At 11 o'clock, we have some breaking news. The sudden and surprising arrest overseas of the founder of FTX, that failed cryptocurrency exchange. And we expect to learn about the charges tomorrow right here in a courtroom in New York. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Heinegger is here with details. Josh? Well, Sade, today in Nassau, the Bahamas, it was 81 and sunny, but Sam Bankman Fried is about to trade paradise for the great chill of a New York December. Not that he'll spend much time outside as he begins his journey through the Southern District of New York, a federal indictment reportedly for fraud. Financial pariah Sam Bankman Freed will spend the night locked up in this Bahamanian police station, awaiting extradition to New York to face federal felony charges. It's been a really humbling fall in, in a lot of ways. Once a cryptocurrency rock star who graced national magazine covers, Bankman Freed spoke to ABC's George Stephanopoulos at his Bahamas estate last month. His business, FTX, had just filed for bankruptcy, the 30-year-old Californian's personal fortune plummeting from $20 billion to just $100,000, to say nothing of the hundreds of thousands of customers' investments gone. A lot of people look at you and see Bernie Madoff. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's who I am at, at all, but I understand why they're saying that. People lost money, and people lost a lot of money. The crypto world is murky at best. It's almost impossible for a layperson to understand, but the basics I mean, of the case are pretty clear. FTX was one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, but when Alameda Research, another business founded by Bankman Freed, made risky bets and lost billions, its CEO claims Bankman Freed funneled FTX client deposits to prop up Alameda. Some see unmistakable fraud. Are you worried about going to jail? There are a lot of things that are worrying me right now. Um, and you know, as best as possible, I'm trying to focus on what I can do going forward to be helpful and, you know, let whatever, you know, regulatory and legal processes are happening play out as it. Now, Bankman, Bankman Freed had agreed to testify virtually to before Congress tomorrow, but the U.S. attorney here in the Southern District of New York requested local police in Nassau instead arrest him today. Prosecutors tomorrow will move to unseal the indictment against him. The Bahamas and the U.S. do have an extradition agreement. If Bankman Freed does not try to fight it, he could be in federal court in lower Manhattan in a matter of days.